Luke. Hello? Ray, my test. I'm okay. Fine. This is a white man. Get out. Uh, I know say when I check in I search home I don't go <laughs> call signal for SABC. We are no fear. My like technical errors, you know, say even CNN said they get the error them. So a technician don't just sort her out. Now now so so we are not worry. We are back live. Um, we don't tell us say is that true? We do not with this channel. So we are no fear. Anytime we see something happen, I know say a technical fault, and we defeat sort her out. We are welcome back. Yeah, welcome back. Um, yeah, we understand a lot of people were calling, uh, calling our our numbers and being worried. Uh, we are sorry about that. It was a purely technical error, and and our tech team has they have everything under control again. So we are back on live. I think it would make uh, some justice, Ray, to to start over the show. Yeah. We we have we have done um, we've had some great talking points already. So we will start back all over again uh, from the start. So it's been an exciting week. Yeah. Yeah, with the release of our brothers in prison, the tour of the chairman and the secretary general in Europe, their world tour, and they're currently in Europe, currently in Sweden. Uh, also, um, uh, school resumptions. We, today we saw military people clearing up Sacred Heart. I tell you. Um, just so schools can resume on Monday. Uh, they, they talk down and say they go see up, they go near. <laughs> they, they go start, they go start where they go do for Monday. They say they go near, they go confirm, say, go down to that town. Uh, yeah, you know, I don't understand <laughs> what the like Republic they, they, they try to do because when I walk a soldier, when I walk a Republican, uh, 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 take care of a country, be, 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 for, 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 for protect a country against foreign invasion, come put the leg. Walk boy them for secret hearts, made them kick clear grass. <laughs> eh? Now kind of and 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 this is this is funny. They, they do all this thing that will make me feel if you say, man, they see gone, man, man, they will go on the back the clear grass. Now kind of intimidation this. He said they think that they don't do some good thing, but now it's disgrace to our military who can't begin a clear grass for school just for making me school go. If you not like anyway, house boys are not short for Saudi Cameroon. If you want to fulfill the hired some of our house boys, me they can't begin clean our compound because for fine house boys of Southern Cameroon no easier. Who oh. are who are living? Because they go do house boy work. Oh my, for Southern Cameroon. Let them get the takes on this soldier. They make they do house boy work now, master. Oh my, for Southern Cameroon no go school. No man want be house boy. <laughs> make Joseph carry military. Let them talk um, French, clean people house. We see video pay and ask me for who will pay house boy. Me they begin clean our compound. Now what kind of sense is? Let me put me on glossens. I mean, you know, Ray. I mean, this is where. 
This is where you wake up and you say ethically is wrong. I'm not sure if I'm a military officer, I'll take such orders. I know that military people take orders. But if you <coughs> ask me to go and do that, I, I mean, I will take all orders, but I will not go and clear his school. Latin. For, it's, this is stupid. Yeah, but like, soldiers just take orders. Like public soldiers. All. Leave that in. I don't know if you take that kind of order, Masa. No, they will sack you now. Huh? They, yeah. pay, they pay them pass teacher. They pay them pass doctor. Oh, you are, you want to leave that? You give me that grass in the class. They pay them pass doctor. <coughs> the way that they clear the grass. If you, if you go oh. clear grass, they pay you pass doctor. Well, I don't clear them. Well, Ray, it's, huh? it's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, honestly, it's honestly a matter of misplaced priorities. And, and you can yeah. see. Like, so at the beginning of this show, I was saying that a lot has happened over the week. And, and a lot of Southern Cameroonians are asking, what now? What next? But I feel that we are in a place in our history. We are in a crossroad in our history. But the path is very clear. We know where we are going to. Uh, La Republic as a country is a failed state. The, most, the only thing that is going for Cameroon is football. And you have seen that football fallen from, gra from grace to grass. It is, it is no, you look at their wars with FIFA, you look at their wars with, um, with CAF, you, you look at their internal wars within Faker our food, you know that even the soccer that is the only thing that the nation prouds itself is, is going to fail. You look at the business atmosphere in Cameroon, it is chaotic. You look, whatever sector you single out and look at in Cameroon, it, is for, it, is, it has failed. So that is a country that is going to fail. Then coupled with the fact that the entire CFA zone has their own crisis. I mean, uh, just two months ago, <clears throat> the prediction was that CFA was going to crash. And they've done a lot of makeshift. There was a lot of makeshift uh, uh, done to just to keep the CFA alive. There's, there have been a lot of that. And all those things are balloons. You know, like, you, you just, you, it's not like the CFI, the CFI is not safe. And that is why you see the very, you see what is happening in Togo. You see what is happening in, 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 in Ivory Coast. The CFI is dying. Cameroon as a country is dying. And Southern Cameroonians, we have a way out. I know every now and then somebody says, um, we, we can fix the whole country. No. Cameroon as a country they have taken as their decisions that they've made over the years and it's gotten them to where they are all those decisions were made without consulting southern cameroonians and we cannot partake in their fall no I, I, you, there's no way you can call me to be patriotic to partake in your downfall which i didn't you know i, I didn't create it in the first place so uh, it's an opportunity for all southern cameroonians to get out and start over with a clean slate yeah. And we should embrace that opportunity. In this day and age, where do you hear around the world of people fighting for their freedom? For me, it's a privilege. It's a privilege to be fighting for my freedom, that I would be telling my children firsthand that we fought for this freedom. We did one, two, three for our freedom. It is a privilege that in 20, 30 years to come, in our history, even if I'm not there, somebody will be saying, this person did something to free ourselves. People around the world don't have this type of opportunities, opportunities to genuinely fight for their own freedom. So Southern Cameroons would mean a lot more to this, our generation, than it will mean, than it would, it would have meant if we wake up to a free country. This is an opportunity. That's how I see it. And that's how every Southern Cameroonian has to be seeing it. So when you stay at home, you should actually be proud that you are contributing to that struggle to enable us to free our homeland. Yeah. <clears throat> so the, the burning issue of the week, and I think everybody in, 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 in all media, even internationally, people are talking about us, not the burning of SCBC, by the way. That was just a publicity stunt where Isa Churuma was like, you know, our like the channels, that was advertisement because if you look at the number of advertise uh, of, of downloads that we get on the app if you now look at the number of views that we get on the website daily everything has increased our viewers have increased so that was advertisement so that banning is not even something that we should talk of so somebody should not say it's a big topic it was a great advert that isa churuma made for us and and we thank mr Ch isa churuma for once in his life 
Don't doing something <laughs> doing something right yeah <laughs> we we want to thank isa chiruma uh, for 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 going out there and advertising the channel properly uh the team we have had a lot of interviews uh Uvo, brazil tonight we are having another one with another station in brazil ah. cnn I'll just, all the channels, RFE, they are calling, they are calling. So this is very important. Please, Mr. H. R. Churuma, can you issue another ban? Yeah. Can you please just issue another ban, seize a few more dishes, and make more publicity <coughs> for the channel? Yeah, Mr. Churuma, call CRTV yes. again, tell us they ban, uh, ban me again, yeah. number two times. Please, just, just like do that. Him. Another press conference, ban SCBC again, so that we can get even more publicity more channels more cable networks should call us and we talk more about our struggle what is surprising <coughs> is did la republic du cameroon give us a license to broadcast no they think that they own southern cameroon how can our leaders in our governing council go and say southern cameroon as a country needs to have its own channel southern cameroon goes out procures its channel and it's operating its channel running its channel in its country for its people and then you go and sit in another country and you say you are banning the operations of scbc and it must immediately cease from from operation isn't that isn't that really isn't that really stupid so well mr isa churuma it's good advertisement we will take that any day so keep on keep on with the press conference yeah and, and just advertise to SCBC just to more. talk about um, uh, that before i forget uh, there's one thing I want to propose because we, we are now using the app to send out messages to our, our uh, Southern Cameroonians. So we want to ap uh, appreciate those who have downloaded the app. Yeah. All my don't download the app, we want to appreciate Una. Make Una go online onto our Google Play Store, download them more and more because we send out messages uh, for, for, for inform Una about what did happen back at home. We send out messages for the ghost towns and what other information we would like make people to know about. <coughs> And also, something there I want, I want maybe Southern Cameroon to do. We know say sooner or later, when the Republic will discover, say, our channel and internet, they make them, we send out all our news around the world, they will still want to come caught internet. So, what I want back, we say, make Southern Cameroon and they form groups of 10. When I contribute 2 to 5, go put SCBs for one my house. The following week, when I contribute another 2 to 5, go, go put up another my house. By the time we want to do 10 weeks, we don't put up all on a 10 on a house. By the time 100 people want to do and so, we don't get all mango get. We need every thousand Cameroonian may get this channel for a house. Because now the only major this way we will communicate with should La Republic decide for cut internet again. Because if they cut your internet, we know, I mean, we'll just can't hear uh, <clears throat> talk for now, all mango here. So it'd be very important. Groups of 10, if we have to contribute two, five a week. Put up for each person in the house in, in by 10 weeks that's two months mm -hmm. two months two weeks when our 10 already get um, uh, uh, scbc for the house so that because we know say as la republic don't ban this channel they go one for the things say they work out for person house or they see you know they watch them if any man they for your own house you watch scbc you go you go you go you go, you go, you go um, uh, diminish the risk where they go put up for yourself or come on go day when have a group or some place the watch up or bar over so my house, when I go, when I go to my house, at 20, they watch them, they send um, uh, these bats, La Republic, so that they can arrest them. So, where to the tongue, I say, groups of 10, two to five every week, when I install on ACBC. Ray, my, yeah. my call is to, to, to people abroad in the diaspora. If you are abroad and you don't, uh, your family does not have ACBC at home, it's a disservice. It's a shame. The, the amount of information that, that a channel has enabled us to share with our people at home, the amount of education, and, and yeah, soon I'll be starting my, my, my course. I'll be teaching entrepreneurship, teaching youths to, to start businesses from home that would be helping them to uplift society. And we're going to get a lot of educational courses like that coming up on TV. You want to have the TV at home. Education, this is a medium that we can use a lot for education. We are going to start teaching how to create small businesses, how to look at the areas where you are in, look at problems and turn those into businesses. We are going to be teaching on courses like that. And a lot of our brothers in America, in Europe and all that will be coming up with great shows that would really be teaching shows that will help, uh, help uplift life at home. So, so if you don't have a TV set, um, the antenna, the channel at your home, it's just about 25,000 francs. So if you are watching us through Facebook or you're watching on the website, 
just go and contact SCBC and say, your family is located in this area and, and they need somebody to install the antenna. And La Republic don't even mind contacting us because um, we, have, we have security measures in place. We are not just going to send our technicians for you to go and arrest. So don't even mind. Like, we, we preempt the silly tricks that you guys and your stupid military... I mean, that is what those military are actually good at, the clearing of Sacred Heart. That's what they should have been doing. They should have been clearing the bushes along the roads and re reducing some of those stupid... Um, <laughs> reducing some of those accidents that happen barely because somebody doesn't even see when you are, when you are negotiating a bend because there is bushes all over the place. Maybe that's what Cameroon's army should be doing. Isn't, wouldn't that be good work, Ray? When, yeah. you, when you are driving to, to Douala, along the road, there's bushes all over. Those military men, they should go and be clearing those grass. Yeah. They, did, they, they, they proved their, their worth in Sacred Heart. Yeah, good. Uh, yeah, just to remind um, our viewers, um, SCBC is run on satellite. So, um, you know, if you just explain to people how to install them, you're supposed to bring a technician away, they go put the dish, they go tune, they go put the dish, me face the side way, that particular um, um, satellite DD. And then they will go for that decoder, go to now. So, you know, if you can talk, say, in a certain way, tell any man, you go buy, you can put them. So, you need a technician. I know, say, for instance, on a town, on a road, to really install those things. Just contact any of them, they will can install them for you. You know, no and, fear, no man. I mean, and the instructions are on the Facebook page, they're on the website. Yeah. Uh, every now and then, in between programs, we also play instructions on how to to train your new decoder to SCBC. And that decoder that carries SCBC, somebody, a viewer is just telling us here that it has over 100 other good free-to-air channels. So it's a full bouquet that you buy for your house for just 25,000 francs. You can buy and install that. So we are advising our people to buy more and more of these decoders and install it. When you are watching, I mean, if families just sit in their family settings and they're watching SCBC, it's safer than having to go to one location, 20 people, because it brings attention to all those military people mm -hmm. that they have infiltrated our neighborhoods. Yeah. So it's rather people put these things in their own house and you just watch it with your family. The other family watches it with your family. Yeah. This, is, this is really our medium to show La Republic how different we are. Instead of using a TV station like CRTV and lying to people, we are going to use this medium to educate our people. We are going to use this medium to uplift life in our community. We are going to use this medium to debate on subjects that would help people to improve their living, their, 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 their standards of living. Instead of every day coming on channels and sending motions of support to a useless president who who has outlived his uselessness even to his family i'm not sure i'm not sure even Pobia's family he has use even for his family that guy to me is a he's he's a he's a scarecrow yeah and moving right on by the time this uh we get a technical error i just the <coughs> toxi for those of you or southern community don't carry that picking and go the whole leave about like the public meeting go school i the sorry you now because now danger that one they do for a picking on I don't know. Why you go take a picking go put up a front uh wall for wall front? Because my tell now, sometimes when I know I realize, say would they in, in a in a war situation. I give you a very good example. La Republic they go around the bond schools because as they belong talk, they the bond school for pay military they they, they need to arrest nobody. They go military for street, you know, get ID, they arrest you go put up a good name, but eight months. But person where in the bond school, every day they the bond places they need to arrest them. They the bond put the come young them on na 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 amu mes and boss. They need arrest no man. But when person one person you no know, get ID, you na know, arrest and go lock him. If you carry a pikin, go put up a la republic school for duala of yaundi. Then la republic because la republic like for create situation inside situation so that they go use and for take and punish people. We don't really get a situation. So we we give our ghost towns. We 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 our pikin need go school. The Republic now don't carry burning on schools car around to the situation so that you then create atmosphere. Uh, yeah, atmosphere uh, now but work arrest people the the the, 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 the cause confusion all over the place. They don't release some of our leaders, things they will go relax these things and then they don't go to school. But we want to tell them say on Monday, no school they start for Southern Cameroons. And then those of who don't carry on a picking and can go for La Republic or put up with it. At the sun because should the Republican bonds on school? 
Kaya cash son picking qui l'arme. They go born another then they say for la republic go cash non picking the vrai site ça qui l'arme. So when you carry a picking open about la republic so you don't go put up a school you they safe. You are fooling yourself. I've told you we didn't have a war front. That the public can create problems with this side so that the other people of the other side will react and then problems will come out. You should say, but if I've been a Republic person, my picking never sacred heart. I just did the wrong and born sacred heart, my picking died for them. I'm not going to find some, some Southern Cabo that picking for, for the Republic kill and too. I'm going to kill them. Of course, because it could be that say, I don't back an eye, an eye for an eye. So if you don't think I'm picking up for the Republic, I beg, go carry and bring her back. Go carry and bring her back. I hope say my none of my family members never do them. Because if you don't do them, I just beg you. Go bring them back because it's already happened. Okay. I I don't talk about my own. It's already happened. Then I don't know. Yeah. It's um it's it's indeed Ray uh when when people are behaving the way they are behaving, when we say no schools and we all know the reasons is because education has almost become useless. Now, the, the, they have downloaded, they have diluted the education right up to a state where the education is almost worthless. And you're asking me, how do I know that? And I'm asking you, how can almost over 80% of graduates from university not be able to, to have jobs? They just graduate and go out to the workplace and miraculously, are, there's no jobs for them. Why? Because for the past 14 years, those people have not been prepared to work. Those people have not been prepared to work. The other day, you heard the statement from the, 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 the PCC uh, head moderator. He said, the Presbyterian uh, Educational Board has lost $1.6 billion in, 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 in the, of, of income because there were no schools. So this thing is really a business. It's, yeah. it's, it's about the, it's, I mean, I was, I was shocked. I was shocked with that statement because I would, for one, feel that church really prioritizes education of children. But when the moderator comes out and makes a statement that the Presbyterian Church has lost 1.6 billion, who cares? Who cares? Have we asked how much the Presbyterian Church makes in offerings? Probably more than that. And then people are crying that the educational system is broken. People are crying that we want to fix a new educational system that would speak to the time and train our children that they can grow, that can become people in society. They can help build society. The moderator of a church comes out and says the church, lo the, the the educational board lost 1.6 billion. Who cares? You know how much we have lost over the past eight months? Lots of money. When you put the money, that's up, the daily lives. You think when Southern Cameroonians stay at home, they don't go and do business. Can you calculate the amount in finance? But this is not really about the financial implications. It is about making, fixing a wrong. It is about righting a wrong. That is what Southern Cameroons are out to do. We are out to right a wrong. Because we don't want our children to be sitting somewhere in 30 years to come trying to right that wrong. Something we could do today. Yeah. You see, um, like you don't, at first you don't talk about this church matter because I don't almost forget them. <clears throat> church is supposed to be in a, a moral, uh, 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 that, that, that they're supposed to be bring out the morality inside society. Yeah. And the immorality way La Republic met them upon Southern Cameroonians, it be enough for church to stand up and take a stance. No, be that way they go rally later today, tomorrow they tell some people to go to school. They write, There's something you call in war collateral damage. It means say we go lost some things then. Church supposed to know say they're supposed to lose. Because all man they lost. Nobody change the loss. If church continue to do that, the Presbyterian, the Baptist, the, the, the Catholic, we will go stand for Sunday. <laughs> that is we start me go stand for Sunday. No man will go no place. We see what I say uh, the church go still exist. Because I don't understand why. Church will not take a stance, begin to criticize the government immediately. Stand against the government. Because we don't see what is, what, is, what is the Bible talk about. Why why one take Bible now? Uh, uh, begin preaching at the one way he find we we not go to look the aspects of the Bible way if they talk about the 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 the, 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 the times the way the children of Israel they be the fight wars. Those people are fighting wars to claim that their the, 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 the own statehood. And they receive fight and reach today to claim that statehood. And even the Bible they tell you say uh, the Israelites, they, 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 God gave them that, they, they, they land. 
and they receive fight and reach today. Would the fight were on, and then church go woke up today, can they take talk, say, me, me put the go school for what? It doesn't make sense. It, it don't come for time where if the church continue to pressurize and the sea secret had the the na 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 army that they go clear secret it means the secret not open it does be school go on uh, if baptist they want open schools and the presbyterian want open schools and then our leaders they just get no choice that will say sunday's ghost towns will be instituted so that on sunday all my should open house we don't go to church we should not open one bible read the one one read and then uh, the money for offering we take a big if it were picking in day in fact yes it don't make sense when we carry off and go have a church me church then we call tomorrow and then they're against you because it's against the struggle i mean you, you, you when you look at it when you look at it ray when when they they issued uh, the warrant of arrest for the the warrant to bring uh bishops and the church the clergy to court our people all stood as one man and went out and defended the church the church knows that the people every time will wake up and defend the church. But yet, the church is not standing for the people. Yeah. The church comes out and they are crying foul about losing money. It is shameful. People with jail. It is shameful because the church is supposed to be the conscience of society. And if that conscience of society has been reduced to the money that church makes per year for school, it is a disgrace. And I, 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 I'm not saying this, but... I would, I would be worried Sunday morning if I wake up to go to a church like that. I, I would really be worried. Because how can you reduce being the conscience of society to, 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 to talking about it in terms of numbers? The church lost 1.6 billion francs. So what? So what? Is 1.6 billion francs more than the life of Julius Aku? Is 1.6 billion francs... More, can you equate that to, to the days that our leaders and the people that are still in prison spent there? So it is for me. For me, the church has to decide where it wants to be, so and, it and, and it doesn't. It doesn't matter if the church wants to move to La Republic. The church should move to La Republic. Yeah. Because Southern Cameroon, currently as it is, is under siege, and if any influential person in our society cannot see that for what it is, cannot shut up for what it is. And instead, they come up and they are trying to do things, <coughs> counter the revolution that it is. Then, we the people are going to stand up against that. Yeah. You know, it, it don't make sense at all. We, we, this, this church, you know, I don't, they, be, they surprise me. Because now, if, if the church stands against the government, it go, it go, it, I mean, it will make this struggle. The church no guarantee the people would stand for the church any day. But yet, the church cowers against the government and it's... I mean, the church says... The PME government don't give the, 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 the money. You see, mentions. all things about money, all things everything about money, money, money. The church gets money from the government. The schools get money from the people. So everything to the church is about money. Now why not say we ghost churches? Because on Sunday, how much should ever ask? Then we'll see that there has, they will lose money for school. Lots of a church. Is it the big we say begin the the is support this struggle so that if even go church gear money they feed the survive pastors. Now they go make another pastor no see get salary. Because we start even the father they know we get chop for chop for for this thing. Because put they know we go church again. Yeah. So if the people have the power, you see that's the problem people we we forget to know that the people have the power. You know, church is not be building the people. So the people they decide they will come church, can give offering so that they will get blessings from God. The people pray, ask God, say, but the church really um, uh, give back to them the way they be expect, and God go hear that cry because God don't need to say if he wants until we ask it directly. And if he ask him, we no must go for church, go ask him. Should not be asked, pray, ask God. Me God, me God uh, uh, grant we wait to want, and then we we'll leave those buildings we call and churches. If we even give our family church, if we deal with that house, we should not have a Sunday, or we should not have a house. We we'll make, we we'll, we'll read scripture, we we'll pray. Then we we'll leave all the church for the pastor and the, and, and the, and the people that form the church. They meet the, the run them. And, and if a pastor goes to the pulpit and says, tell me a Christian that God will protect me. And then that same pastor, that same church, that same organization called a church, is scared of a government, that a government would prosecute them. Huh? Does it not counter the message that the church is preaching? Because you tell Christians that we should trust and believe in God for protection. That God would look after us. And at the same time, you are opening the doors of your school because you are scared of a government. You are scared of a government that is first of all dying. So when you when you when you that, that's what I said, these times of our struggle is about to take the next turn, and we need to analyze situations as they come. Yeah. So 
we started off with uh, the release of our brothers in prison. I just think we need to pay a little bit of emphasis on that again, Ray. So when you go now and you look at that document that proclaimed the release, the very first line of the document, it says, is discontinuance yeah. of the case. And Legal Mind yeah, says, like it is suspension. It's like letting somebody out on bail. And then at your own discretion, you can say, hey, you have filled the rules. I'm arresting you again. But if you look at the, the media, if, if you look at the media, the, the, how they are portraying it to the media, it's like, no, we have freed all the arrested. Have they? Have they? Hell no. They freed people from Yaoundé, but there are people in Bamenda prison. There are people in Boya prison. There are people in Wum prison. There are people in Fundong in prison. There are people in police cells. All, in fact, the night before that morning that they are releasing some of our leaders in Yaoundé, they arrested over 40 people. They arrested over 40 people. Remember, the night before Bala and Fontaine were arrested in Boya, they, they, that, that day they were releasing people. They were releasing people in Bamenda. Hey, we haven't seen any of those that were released on that day. Are they dead? Are they alive? So, Southern Cameroonians, we need to be looking at this La Republic for who they are. People. These people are wicked. These people are out to kill us. And we must be looking at them for what they are. Yeah, the funny thing I see people in the understand is that we don't get our interest at heart at all. No matter what they do, whether they come, even they like the tar road from 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 Bafusam to to to, to Mwa. They owe us that. You know, they know still they do have our good because they don't see until it interests them. There are people that drive past the road. So make we don't even look at anything where the Republic do for we like. They make us in a favor. Eh? They're doing the things to us like the favor, not be favor. We, we heard deserve all those things, and you see, um, uh, and, and I want just to talk for our brothers when they come up for jail because mm -hmm. we, we know if you even imagine what they go through yeah. on a serious note. I don't know if you should not forget, talk say, and no way to way our brothers they will jail they go through, but make their experience of jail not close their mouth. Me, the experiences of jail, no make a me they can't begin to fear for go back because to be honest with you, I don't since as I watch all my way, you come up for jail, and one person make a statement, one person talk. So until we, I feel say that we, each and every one of them begin to talk up their experiences. And you, you will find some moving players so that. Yeah, let's, let's yeah, play that video. We will play that video so that we will fit, even thank our brother, because I mean, we know come with jail. We'll yeah. go. So I, this is uh, Mr. Said, Zama, the. The, 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 the worst part with this is now the two way they go, they go, I mean, governor, they, 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 they welcome, they, they even go see governor. Because if I be there inside that jail, as at the land for play at the land, the, the governor want, I just pass it to the go. Why do you want Salo Governor? Like say he don't do favor me come up for jail. This the one the way I say they go see governor. I don't be, I don't be like that part at all. Yeah. So uh, let us watch uh, Comrade Zama in Limbe. When he came out, he addressed his neighborhood and he uh, let's let's listen to him. Probably me. Take one say your personal email WhatsApp. Okay. Yeah. So um that didn't that, that video is like it never had sound. So I know, I understand that, that Christians are always very worried when people are trying to look at church in a critical uh, in a critical way. So uh, are, we, are we back in studio? Yeah, people, people are always very critical when people want to look at the church in a critical way. And, and I get that, being a Christian, I get that. It's very easy to be touchy-feely when you go to belief issues. But the very reason, the very foundation, the church is built to be the conscience of the people. And if church leaders divert from that, foundation of what the church is supposed to be and we cannot stand up and tell them then something is wrong with us something is wrong with us 
So we are not saying church is bad. We are not saying believing in God is wrong. I mean, our struggle has been guided by God to this moment. But we are telling church leaders to stop taking the church and playing politics with it. Stop taking the church and making it about money. Because when a church leader goes out and say, uh, the church, the, the, the educational board lose 1.6 billion because of no schools, you are, trying to, you are trying to call our empathy to the fact that the church lose money? Hell no, it's not about that. It is not about that. And, and nowhere in my Bible has the, uh, have it told me that my salvation it's, 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 it's around, it's around, it's around, it's around uh, making the church rich. Nowhere in my Bible. The church, throughout the Bible, what the church stands for is to protect society. It's to keep people, it's to keep people safe in society. The church is supposed to be standing up for people. And what the church in Southern Cameroons has done is they are playing double side. Today they are for the people Tomorrow they are with the government. We are calling the church to say, no, that is wrong. It is even better the pastor who stays quiet than the one who goes out and tells people that, oh, last year the church lost 1.6 billion. That is annoying. Daddy, you see, the church no why they stand for the people. They don't write on their funny English, write document, don't play with semantics. Play with semantics. They like say they favor we. They have to take a stand. The, 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 the Catholic Church has to stand up and say what the Republic is doing to Southern Cameroon is wrong. The Baptists have to do the same, the Presbyterians, the full gospel have to do the same, and they tell the, 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 the Republic of Men, we are not opening the doors of our school until you attend to the problems of Southern Cameroonians. It's as simple as that. They don't go write documents, they talk, say, they begin to tell our history. We know our history. We don't learn them. They don't take, the past six months, we have learned it. We don't know they tell our Republic, they say they don't know, they know. We don't know they suggest solutions. Where they don't even be part of the solution. Eh? We, we get our own solutions where the church is supposed to comply. Eh? When church is going to give solution for the republic, may also make sure say it complies with the solutions of the people. And the people has the people have said that there is no schools. And the church they carry about 60% of the schools of Southern Cameroon. Therefore, they're supposed to make a strong statement. Say we are not opening the doors of our schools until the government can hear the cries of the people of Southern Cameroon. They talk and they separate any man go inside. We not fit continue for the living kind of life. Make, make church be hypocritical. Eh? Make church tell the republic straight up. Yes, yeah. as they, they can't talk for church because personally they can't talk for church. Say if you for, if you if you try go sleep my woman or you sleep for outside or now see it tell her one time straight. Eh? And the, the church is straight. Say fornication is a sin. Yeah. Now so no, that the same thing. They will just tell the republic. Say look what they are doing is wrong. I mean, they don't begin to use uh, and, I mean, what the, the, the fool people they, they and, they're not there for the side of the, of the people at all. Not and, at all. And let and, and it's very it's very uh, I think one of the things that we must clear also is the church is not God. Yeah. The church is not God. God is a fair God, and that is why our struggle even survives up till now. It's because there is a God, and that God is a God of justice. And if you if you if you follow if you follow uh, let me say Deacon Taka, uh, Tasang. If you follow his post, all the predictions that he's making, it's all about God. It's not about the church. But the church being that institution that channels us to God that we have grown up worshipping in has to respect the will of the people. As leaders of the church who have influence in our society, they have to use that that, that influence that they have yeah. to say the right things or at times just stay quiet. Oh, they, 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 and the truth is, the church knows what to say. And, and they know. They know what is the right thing and the wrong thing. So, so shifting away from that, Ray, uh, the fact that some of our leaders were, were released and some were not released, this is something that we Southern Cameroonians must, again, look critically. Yeah. You could see the images. Some families celebrating. Some families crying. Yeah. And this is... Uh, somebody said it's another divide and rule tactics where now people will be like, okay, they have released the main ones. Let us go back to school. No, they have taken us back to where we are in January when the leaders were not arrested in the first place. When they will finish re arresting, uh, releasing everybody, we will be back December 8th. 
and Southern Cameroonians have a problem with La Republic. And Southern Cameroonians have said, we are going to sit in an equal table with La Republic as a country, and La Republic, uh, as, and, and Southern Cameroons as a country, and talk. Talk like people who are representing their countries. Talk about interests. Talk about how we want to separate. How it's going, it's going to work as neighbors. Yeah. We are going to sit on a table, and it's going to be a round table, and we want a mediator on that table. That is the demand. The demand is not to release people. So if La Republic feel at any point that releasing people uh, it's what solves the problem, no, it takes us back, back to where there was a problem. It takes us back to where for 55 years you have marginalized us. You have arrested us whenever we stand up for what is right. It takes us back to 1993 when Nijon Fundi clearly won election. And just because he's francophone like Isa Churuma, uh, anglophone because like Isa Churuma said, he said, a, a, a foreigner cannot be president in their country. Yes, a foreigner cannot be president in your country. We also want to tell you a foreigner is not going to rule our country anymore. Enough is enough. Yeah, and, and, and just talking about that, we all know Simon Monday that goes down. The reason why that goes down is very important is because of the day when the Republic thing say they will dictate for you for send our kids to school. And therefore, on that day, as we don't talk, as chairman, we don't talk um, uh, as the voice of the governing council. On that day, as we also Oman already buy a white cloth because we never make a nice, very symbolic thing. We gave them tie those white cloths. For, our, for three branches on our cars, on our bikes, put up our um, uh, windows and everywhere around us. Stay indoors from 5 to 6 p.m., right? Yes. 5 a.m. Stay to 5, uh, 5 a.m. to 6 p.m. Yes. We stay indoors, no man will go outside. Make the person where they get gay hats. Make common carry picky for that ghost. Go down for, for school. Whether ghost no go visit, but that road will be good. And then, hope Oman not buy a whistle as well because on that 6 p.m., that jubilation, you know, we have to sing, blow our whistles, hoot our cars, you know, glad say those bad things, you know, those bad things when the Republic can force our skin, run, wash them out, we we'll start on a clean slate. We look forward to our independence on the 1st of October. Yes, uh, the, the Passover is going to be a very symbolic event in Southern Cameroon. And, and we are employing on all Southern Cameroonians to, on that day, demonstrate that. Show the world that. And, 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 and our leaders, in their you know, infinite wisdom, prescribed how we are going to observe this Passover in a way that would show the world a clear sign that we as a people have made up our minds that we want to take back our right to self-determination. We want to take back our country. We want to start taking control of our lives as a people without being colonized by another. So on Monday, our people are recommended by our chairman, His Excellency Ayok Tabe, that we should observe the Passover by using white cloth and green branches. We tie them on our fences, we tie them on our doors, we tie them on our cars when we go out in the evening. We take pictures and we circulate, share them with, share short videos with SCBC. And those who are still hiding their faces, it's okay. It's okay to be scared. But I don't think if you tie a white cloth to celebrate Passover on your fence with a green tree, that is a crime. I don't think so. So... Everybody on Monday that is a Southern Cameroonian at heart, which we all are, is supposed to observe this so that we can show our people, we can show the world that we as a people have decided that we are passing over a bad system. We are passing over bad roads. We are passing over bad economy. We are passing over bad education, bad legal system, a legal system that they arrest people without telling them what crime they have committed. Uh, and, and they lock them up for eight months. A legal system, a legal system that a judge who doesn't understand what you are saying would judge or would preside over a case. Those are the things that we are passing over. 
a, a country where everybody is forced to pay insurance, but there's never an insurance payout. That insurance in Cameroon is a scam. It's a scam, and the government is behind it. All those insurance companies, they pay huge commissions to Cameroon government to protect them. And everybody who drives a car in Cameroon pays insurance. But who, who has ever claimed insurance in Cameroon other than the rich? Why are we paying insurance in the first place? So everything in that system is rotten. And that is, it's important that every southern Cameroonian should look at it. How can somebody be having a call box on the street and paying tax? And paying tax? How can somebody be selling fruits in front of their door and be requested to pay taxes? How does the government support people in Cameroon? How can you go to school and have a master's degree and you cannot even, if, you, if, if a company was to hire you, they will send you for a short course somewhere? Because the educational system is broken. Because the system is broken. So my people, it is not going to be easy. But if we want better, like uh, Barista, Barista Muna in Bamenda in December, that, that evening, like he said, even if we are to stay home for a year or two, sacrifice a year or two, so that we can fix these things once and for all, it would be sacrifice worth taking. I'm sure that we have a, a video, just so we repeat, because... Uh, you see the Munas, they change like they change like weather, and they no, say one thing. That guy is amnesia. <laughs> yeah, they, they change like weather. Yeah. But remember, in December when his eyes were clear, he said it very clearly. He said it very clearly. We're going to play that video just so we remind ourselves. Because he said it. He said Ghana stayed at home for two years because they wanted to fix their system, and Southern Cameroon. Children have to do that to fix their own system, even if it's a year or two. Those are his words. They're not mine. So we are going to play that video. Let us just watch that video again. And then look at the press release that he sent out yesterday. Or his lawyers. Or... So yeah, so, so you see in December, somebody just said here, by that time, uh, Muna has not taken anything yet. So I don't know, <laughs> maybe he has taken something now. But what I know is that the, the situation from December to now is still the same. The only difference is that they have killed our people, they have arrested and locked up our people in bunkers and in prisons across the country. So... It is, important that, uh, it is important that we never forget these things. It's important that we really never forget. 
and, and, and as we, we keep moving, we're moving into Monday, and like our leader said, it is a, it's, it's, it's a significant day in our history. It is a significant day in our country's history. It's a landmark day, and we want to celebrate it. Uh, the, the, it's, it's an important day, and we need to celebrate that Passover in a way that even La Republic would understand that we have moved on. We we need to okay. Uh, well, people the like across the country. It's, it's a significant so people it's important that in our history. Ray. Yeah, um, we we'll just be very sorry. Say the videos are not having any. They produce sounds. The videos they didn't produce sound, so we don't know why it happened. So, but uh, we will try to play and we will try to sort that out. Yeah. However, very soon we open the lines to um, our viewers, and before we open the lines, we just want to remind everybody to make sure see when I get to a when a white cloth they're ready. Uh, we just have one night or two nights to go uh, for for Shola Republic say. They don't get any control of our land anymore. We, the people, we have control of the land, and we will decide what we will do for them, and they don't get anything to do about it. So yes, and the way we will show that after, or the, when, wrong, go wrong, go wrong, when the day don't end, uh, we will come out, when the day don't end, we will come out, take videos, send them to local um, and international media houses, because if BBC One she don't, in the year people they scream, they, they shout, they blow whistle, they dance, they send out for the other and say, why what did happen with this country? Well, we'll explain why uh, that situation they happen. So make all my keep your phone ready on that day out. Make on a charge on a phone overnight because like the public people call lost light. <laughs> yes. On a charge on a phone, make all man gets the phone full battery. So that and that on, on that day when I go down, we'll play very um, uh, um, uh, um, uh, nice documentaries about our struggle. And a lot of things that we could remind me why we first go on this on this um, uh, uh, why we first go on this journey of restoration, and so that when we come out the jubilate, we would be uh, glad and say those days run past. So make no person no shit off a house uh, where nobody go buy white cloth. The weekend, I think, is not the last weekend this way you get. I will buy that white cloth. If you don't get money for buy white cloth, you will use white toilet tissue. No. So, uh, Monday is an opportunity for us Southern Cameroonians to show Yaoundé that we have moved on. It is, that, it, is, it is those turning points where you tell the government of the foreign country that we have moved on from their rule. And that day we also have an opportunity to tell our governing council, to tell our leader, His Excellency Julius Tabe, that we give you a mandate. We give you a mandate to lead us to lead us to that promised land, which is our freedom. And every Southern Cameroonian should be part of this historic moment. Yeah. I've got my white cloth. I'm going to celebrate Passover on Monday, yeah. the whole day. And, and I'm, I'm trying to see if, if I can get an hour or two off work to run to the studio because we will end the Passover at, at, at 5 in the evening. We will end that Passover with our people, the last hour will be on, on a show, just so we talk to our people about that experience, that transferring, that, that, that passing over experience on that day. So we are going to do that on Monday. Yeah, um, what we are, our lines are open. For those of you who would like to call and, uh, you know, give your experience, yeah, maybe you don't deal with the people where they, where, where they come out from, from jail. Um, they wait in the wrong time. Uh, maybe we, we would like to share them with our viewers. And uh, if your person sitting there for jail, where, you know, come out. Maybe you want to talk, you know, your experience, what it happened, how you feel when they call the names and they call, they don't call their own person the name. Or you want to suggest what you will give or do for better the show, what you will give or do for better the Monday where we give or celebrate the Passover. Our lines will be open, and um, our viewers be um, welcome to call in. Yeah. So, so Ray, also in, in South Africa, it would be a landmark day for, for us activists in South Africa. Um, what we are going to do is we are going to go and meet 
some civil societies uh, organizations on Monday in the afternoon to tell them our story, to tell them what we went through in Nigeria and we finally left in 1954. And, and just nine years later, France and Britain played a fast one on us again and got us colonized by another African country. We are going to go and tell South Africans that story in mon on Monday in a community uh, setting where, so that they should understand why we leave our countries and come here in the first place. And we are begging our brothers and sisters around the world that they should go to this community awareness campaigns and start going to people in their neighborhoods, start going to their neighbors and telling them our story as a people so that these people can understand and feel the pain that we are feeling as a people who don't have a homeland because another have Hello, ceased Kola. our homeland. Hello, Kola. Welcome to Amba Perspective. Yes, hello. Welcome. Hello. Yes. Welcome to Amber Perspective. Yes, I want to participate in the program. Yeah, you're welcome. You, are, you, are, you, are, you, are, you have the mic. Yes, I want to talk about our brothers who came out of jail. Good. I realized something that as we're struggling outside here for them to come out, hoping that they are brothers, it's as if something happened in the last minute and they changed their mind their minds and they turned their backs from the people. The other day I did hear uh, Justice Aya Paul, the Papa way I don't see even young men that they try to design the amber money that they used to face. Papa Komo is the third we say he don't take the own stand, he say they have a federation. That is as I said the beginning of the they die for the back every day. They be foolish for take their own stance and no, they want na a total independent. But as my sister went and give you that papa, they went and give that papa, that papi, that party talk to the other day I didn't hear some small girl who will be taking that papa in house. They ask the way to get for talk. The small girl talk say, you know, get nothing for tell no man because it's a lie. So I be I be like this, I be like with the small girl talk. But when pa come out, pa change. Oh my god. Even Dr. Fontaine, when me and you be each done one time for one of one of the brother, one of the brother, the pastor, and I hear the kind of zeal, the momentum. If they talk for me, how a minister call you off the phone? But how can he? How can he change? Where's where the big D? Where's the big D for this one? Will change. My brother, what ask you now? What becomes the future of our children? We are not talking about ourselves. What becomes the future of our children? What is the future? If now we feel just decide now, say we don't come for prison, then promise you one or two things, then we just forget about the whole thing. Then it's okay, let's say I be wrong. Why did they come out and let it talk? Why did they come out and let it talk? They steal their mouth, they steal their mouth. I one day, I, I, the other day, I hear one young man from I think they call it Zama, I be see some video. I said, this was a study and he talks to go all stand from the truth. But inside that truth, he talks and he see guilt for inside you. Know, that, you know, that that's strength for like, strength for under people to talk. So my brother, I don't know, I don't know where they don't go wrong, but I pray that God help me. But if, now say that my brother don't say we, then I believe that we should go through them and then we will be <coughs> because. Finally, I don't like discover I say, only one man don't stand up for the whole thing. But I stand, maybe now all of God will decide to know who he is. Only, only he, so among all them. We press them, we don't know who he is. Now, that way, they show, they just make that election. They can't show up for we. But we have to accept me. But when he is made his first speech, we will see a president out of him. And then we will line for the back. So if they say they put them over prison, they don't betray me. Then I feel advised, oh man, I say, maybe we line behind the president. Then now I don't see, I say, I'm going to go to class, I'm going to go to the kind of school. I'm not seeing any kind of thing that happened before. Which kind of country do you think? Yeah. What kind of tactics? Maybe they can't go to my first school. My by first school. I wait, man can't knock my door. I get a mastery. Man can't knock my door. Yes, now we're going to cash me too. And then we'll get my own belly. Right. I'm not very well, people like Manchester believe we don't leave them because they, will, they don't agree any other anything from the Nawa they leave them today. But if yeah, my you brother, uh, out today, tomorrow you'll be a disgrace. And for those who are able to stand, they will be like Mancho BBC. They'll be, they'll be, they'll be the hero, but they'll be like Mandela. Mandela went through a lot, but he not be surrender. Make man not surrender a whole generation. 
a whole a whole country for the sake for the sake of a, uh, of a position. What is position? Yeah. All right, my and brother. Um, bala, 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 uh, you know, be cool for the president. If he qualify, I see whether he is a loss of man, he is a loss of man for one hour in a prison guard. I don't know what I've done. I've been a chair of prison, I've been a prison president. I've been a salary of the bow. I feel bad for my belly. The man that will look up to because he's a humble himself. He humble himself for your oppressor. When you know the whole country, they put it back. Oh God, what is happening to our people? What is happening to our people? What is happening to our people? I beg, more than just forgive me. Now just forgive me. Now just forgive me. I don't know. People get in everything from last week for people to come out of prison. And then when they come out of prison, come out of here, they're voices. They were making us in the new party and then we were expecting them to say something. Nothing is coming out of them. Now some people are saying they want to go back to school. What becomes of the future of these children? What becomes of our tomorrow? So we become the slave of slaves. Slave. What kind of slave? Oh my God. Oh. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much for the call, my brother. Now the last push. The last push. The last push. Please, Southern Cameroonians. The last push. Whatever it takes, let us take this final ball. I don't think the man gives one for, for TV the other time. He said they can spend two years. But I'll be shocked. Then the long time don't say it all right. I say he clears what they could and go back. What about the thing he said before? What about what? how can you can somebody eat his cake and have it back? It is terrible, my brother, please. Thank I you. I don't express what I feel. I don't have to express that. I don't think many people are still this frustrated, this frustrated breath. And one beg, one beg, plenty of blood in the outside of the country. If we make mistakes, they will never come back. They will never come back again. How many generations? That means they will just lost, just lost. Well, we will not think about ourselves. We will think about that. Those of the blood in the outside. They will think about much of the people prison. They will think. They will think. They will think about the one the way. The one the way. Where they, where they grow? Where they grow? They know the future. They will try to get a country on our on our own. We come to our own way. One day we come begin to become the minister. One day we come begin to become the governor. Not the only thing, the only appointment that people then they put up on our head, put up on our head, and they will just be like dogs, all alive, dogs of dogs, slaves of slaves. But this one will be my portion. Thank you, my brother. After this event, my brother, thank you, thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much for for for, the, for your words. Um, I, I want just to talk to you. <coughs> Personally, um, maybe we give our brothers when they come up with jail a little bit of time for recuperate. They don't go through a lot. And me and you, when we day out of where we day out, we don't feel really imagine the, the, the trauma and the suffering we they go through. Um, so far, um, I think only one person we have yesterday come up with CRT, we talk say he want make school go back. Um, with the sea weights, make them relax, spend time with their families. Um, and our barista Muna makes dead men. We never hear whether, we never hear, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Dr. Fontem, uh, and I'm a Dr. Bala. They never make any statement. We always hear the talk. Um. So maybe we wait, give them time. We, we go know them. Small, small. Any man uh, talk anything we know correct for here, we go sabi. But one thing where we get to know, I say no person not even be past this struggle right now. You no know, matter whether or not His Excellency Ayuk Tabe or uh, Dr. Bala or Dr. Fontem or Mancho BBC, no one of them, not even one of them, this time today, there we say, may we change our minds. As it stands right now, the people of Southern Cameroon don't make up their minds. They won't go on one, they get one road for train where they don't take off. And our independence, a restoration of our independence. So make we no fear. If any person thinks they could talk anything contrary, he could do on his own. Make we wait and be patient. I hope say um, for, the, for my heart and the pray say make no man of ourselves this struggle. Uh, thank you, Ray. Um, it, it's a bit emotional when you listen to the caller. Uh, it's very emotional. And and one thing that I've learned about leadership is that uh, true leaders, to them, it's always about their people. And, and I believe that our leaders are listening to their people. They are listening to the cries of their people. They are listening to the cries, our cries, and, and they will do what their people want. They will not betray their people. Hello, Kola. Welcome Hello. to our perspective. Hello. Good evening. 
Good evening, evening sir. sir. Go on. Yes, this is Uncle P from Hanover. Hey, Uncle, Uncle P. P. Welcome home. Yes. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry last time when I called, I was really mad. You know, it was a few a few hours after I received that uh, that uh, fake uh, release uh, bill uh, or release document. You see, so I was mad. I could not even hold myself. That is why I, sh I was shouting the whole time. Yeah. Uh, uh, good evening, my dear brothers. So um, I want to first of all uh, uh, talk to the young man who called before me to let him know that. Uh, at this stage, for this time order for this fight, person, no supposed thing say, as the other man don't give up, he go give up. We there now, now, we supp supposed to look the thing now individually. Yeah. Keep, keep on strong. I mean, because if you say, now my fight, another man say, now my fight, another man say, now my fight, then all we go, they strong together. You see, no? Yeah. So if any man take him individually, because it affect all women, if all man try to keep with the fight, we will fight. Then I'm a fight. I know we'll give up because I'm a fight. Even if that man don't give up, I know we'll give up. Now so we'll go there strong. So me can no fear because say, the people that they come up prison, they never make any statement. They see they, they see they in a confused state. Me give them a few days. Me give them a few days. Me the people then they calm down before they that will join me again. Yeah. And and after everything, after everything, after everything, me you know say the fight don't be bigger, even bigger than those who are come up prison. True. No, thank you. Because thank you so much, Uncle P. When I put the one go prison, the fight will not yet be be this strong. Okay. And then I want I want to stop one thing for people they back home. Um we will see pictures where uh, Ami declared grass for, for Sacred Heart. You know, grab up a Cameroon history. If they can't bow down for our knees, for do our job, we'll for do them. They know the plead more talk like brothers. Even for people that declare that grass, they talk French. It shows that they're not they're ready to make peace with me. So, me, all man, she don't inside house. Me, no man, no come out. Because, say, if we come out, they go shoot me for road. If they begin, they leave a begin and go outside for go school, begin to be in danger. So they don't see the situation. I mean, they every, I don't call every, I don't call every uh, uh, place for, for for region, every place or country. I mean, they fool. Any small place, I mean, they fool. So many people just decide to shoot on them for their homes and then touch the army the roads. Yeah, they go stay there a long time. Uh, they are feeding be exaggeratively high because uh, when when they are not deserve only were feeding, if people they still and go hide them. So within a short time, their their bags go run empty. They no get what they were feed on. So Canada the army go back even before one can start declare independence. And I want I want I want uh, excuse me matter of this one for people then. Even it happens say uh, first of October, we no we no raise some flag. I did not talk if. Just in case, because I know so we will we go, we go, we go make up to the promise. But if in case it not even happen, so we raise up our flag. Me people they not say the fight not to stop on you know, that fact that that flag would always stop over boya. Yeah. So yeah. me people them be sure. Me no man no fear say people come prison that they don't betray or something like that. Me they no fear no nothing. Me no say the regime be very very cunning, very very cunning. They see the document say it work as a Ben Moon assign and all of the friends she did. So me they know it now I mean. So me no person know me they just get calmness and just be ready for keep themselves secured. I thank one plenty. Thank, oh, you, thank you for the call, Uncle P. Yeah, uh, yeah, I yeah, think yeah. yeah. I, I think the the spirit of the moment should be that we should be vigilant. All Southern Cameroonians, we all should be vigilant and watch things and analyze things very carefully. Uh, our leaders that have come out of jail, uh, we believe that they will be orientated as to where we stand as a people. And it is their duty as leaders to lead people. And, and you lead, when you are leading people, you are leading a mandate. It is not about what you have to say, it's about what your people want. So 
uh, I beg that we should really, really support the people that have come out of jail, all of them. La Republic consistently, look at someone like La Piro. He came out of prison three years, he's dead. These people are evil people. We don't even know if some of our brothers, they have slow poison in them or what. So our focus right now, the focus of our people at home, around the neighborhoods of our leaders that have come out of jail, please don't despise the person that you have never heard his name, but he has spent five, six months in jail. Help those people to get medical attention. They should go for checkup, thorough checkup, because some of them would come out and they are dying slowly. I mean, imagine just before they arrested uh, uh, the leaders of the consortium, they released some people. Where are those people? Where are those people? So Southern Cameroonians, we should, we should, we should really be watchful at this time. We should, we should very... We should, we should look at things critically. We should analyze things critically. But over and above everything, everybody that came out of jail, I saw, I saw my friend Hans, and I could not recognize him. He looks like a scarecrow. This is somebody who was healthy, fit, six months ago. And for the first time, he, he saw his child that was given birth to while he was in prison. When I saw that picture, I was in tears. Please give these people the support at this time. Don't Hello, be judge. Yeah. Don't be judgmental. Hello. 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 Uh, welcome to Amber Perspective. Welcome, sir. Oh, welcome. Um, how are you today? Hello, go on. We can hear you. Ouch. Oh, it's offline, yeah. Hello, welcome to our perspective. Yeah, hello. Yes, welcome. Yeah, um, uh, I'm the Abanzoni, and I would just like to stay anonymous, and I would just like to do a little bit of contribution, and I will take my answer off air. Well, no problem. Okay. So... Uh, I don't read a little bit about the struggle with go and all the uh, confusion and dilemma where people are inside and it is also worry me as an Amazonian. And my, all my contribution I want to get this simple. I will ask any person where they're from Amazonia. May all wish you don't. You sit at home, you check your conscience. You look you are picking them, you come off your door, you stand for outside. You look at the environment where you stay there. You ask yourself as ma, as pa, as brother, as sister, things where they born you, you believe you don't grow. Every day you come out, you stand look that same environment. It never ever change. Yeah. You don't depreciate more and more time we will be younger and as we grow older, the place the older old. No nothing never change. It get worse and worse. Road where we get away, we grow up, we will be tired. Now the road not it doesn't exist anymore. You ask yourself when you should own your house, you come out so you walk and go down your road. You turn back, you look your house, who say you come out. You ask yourself, say, for how long will I don't live for this environment, for this same state? My life ever progressively move from A to Z. My picking when you go to school, come back, when they finish, no nothing else to do. When you ask yourself that question, then you will understand, say, the regime where you play with them, they don't get your self-interest at all. Thank you. Say, they will release, will brother them from prison. At the same time, they will send army into the region where you come out. You will shut your house, you even think, one. So if you move your picking center of outside, I don't know how stupid we don't get to, or how green watch we don't be, who will not be seen. Releasing the leaders the way they don't be jailed, the way we don't fight for them. It don't make no difference to this struggle. In the sense that when they don't release them, you where you did for house, you don't pray for the people there that don't come out prison, come out. Even if they never make any statement, you ask yourself as a person that the environment where they stay inside, I don't believe for this place, oh, how many years my life never changed. You get one opportunity for your life to move and make a change where it will support you, you are picking, and you are picking never come. Yeah. You will decide, say, you go for go where the governing council don't 
instruct me for follow up, for put your picking for school. All I want you to talk say, me all man should go for a house, you search your conscience. You look who you believe. Ask yourself that question. How long I don't stay for this environment? How wait you don't change? Things were are for this place. All the picking away, the they don't grow up in the environment. Who side the day at this point in time? When you ask yourself that question to yourself and you think say the regime where you play with and that good regime, or they get your self interest and then you get yourself a chair. Now all my own contribution that one girl. I want to give people to sit home, check their conscience. Say we get picking they stay they, they don't even get shoes, they need to wear shoes for go school. Uniform no day. Classroom they with decks no day, window no day, no proper frame no day. So area then they with school no even there at all. They begin to not even get school. But we insist. Say one cent became for school. School ain't they even exist. It don't be reduced to nothing. Well that, so that. all we have to ask all man that say you should don't pay a house, you pray, you stick for your bed, you look your picking them, you reflect to yourself. Say this school we want them to in the day, and this place where they stay here, that's so light to get today. If you think that's so light to get today, then answer that question yourself and leave that to your conscience of each person. Thank you. Thank you very much, brother. Uh, thank you so much for the call. I think. That call for conscience is a very important call. I think yeah. each and every Ambazonian is supposed to sit down and watch within and start asking themselves those questions. What has changed in this country? In fact, when I go back to my community, it's regressing. When I go back and I look at our house, it's even smaller in my eyes. And it's because the road, the path, the government road leading to the house, it's full of bushes. Like, there is nothing happening. It's like we stay in a dead community. It's like our community is, is, is literally dead, in the, the literal sense of it. So, fellow Ambazonians, let us look within and ask ourselves that question. That is it what we really want? Do we want to continue down this road? Hello, welcome to our perspective. Hello? Yeah, welcome. Hello. Welcome to Amber Perspective. Uh, uh, welcome to the show. Uh, go ahead and share your view. <laughs> so uh, so we, we just have a few minutes to go, but it's important to, to tell our people that uh, Dr. Lees will be coming up with a talk on education in an hour. Yeah. And it's very important that Ambazonians... Hello. Hello. Welcome to the show. Hello. Hello. Welcome to, welcome to Amber Perspective. We can hear you. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I'm Donatus calling from Amber. Welcome, sir. Yes, I want to contribute to the program. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. I have noticed... That those children that we are in Bermuda, some of them are showing uniform to wear on Monday. So <laughs> we have to take note of that. Yeah, thank you. Okay, brother, we are, we are here now. To train as well as students, then to wear uniform and so that people can see and maybe they think that as we do. All right. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I believe, say, all those things, they want to give me the way that the public is trying to play, we know all. Yeah. And they look at people playing. And, uh, yeah. and I mean, for the past nine months, we grounded schools because we want to fix our educational system. La Republic has not moved an inch towards fixing education. They have played all sorts of games, but look at fixing education. Hello? Hello. Hello. Welcome to our perspective. Thank you, sir. I'm very happy to, to say hello to you all. I'm grateful with the good job you guys are doing. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very, very happy. I want us to show the Republic that uh, we are people. I'm yeah. very, very happy. I want me to see our people then. For country, me, they know it way they ask for. You can imagine, like for my own community, now my own people, them, they carry sand, build house, say school, they name and say school. 
the work of fine PTA teachers. Now then they be pay the teach the people where they call and say teachers where they teach the children them for school. No stu- no government. They go beg government say when I can't take school. When I can't take school. Maybe we bring even one or two teachers. Government will return from one angle to another. Then they will come call and say drone them and for government school. They will pay school fees, they will carry money to go give for your window. Brother. Mami papa them. That school they own around South Abila. Nah. The one gives right for La Republic. Make it. I don't know. I, I tell the woman, I got I don't confuse. Wait to be school. Mama, papa, when I ask myself, say, wait to be school. School myself, make who who learn something more, can't help them now. But today, school, now for learn God, learn for Kada. God bless that thing. They decide every day for Kada drivers, them all, but every day they kill them. So, I beg, me to go to school. Me to no go for school. Me to no go. Me to no go. Me to show the Republic say, who strong past them. My yeah. brother and my sister them. Even, even they force you, even your papa force you, no go. And the papa carry back to school. Thank you, my brother. Um, you don't I'm say... Happy for now. Me God bless you. Give you a strong power. Me to not orientate me. Because we don't lost plenty for forest. Thank you. Thank you, no, no. Thank you, my brother. Thank you very much. Okay, um, have a very nice, blessed day. You Thank too, my, you. You too, my brother. Um, yeah, you know, Derek, it really be unfortunate say, um, we give all the begs on people that may not send their picking of a school. Um, all we know, even them, when they go send their picking of a school, say the system is wrong. Mm-hmm. They're not about change since we start demand. And I want to beg, say, um, we will be stupid for you for, for, for the things say we will continue for, for, for live under the kind of repressive system if we don't correct the system now. And one, one of the things they would use are like our ammunition. Now they know school, uh, no, 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 no resumption of school. Mm-hmm. Now our ammunition that you get, you get, you get, you get, you get our own gun that with our own bullets. We know if we take that one cell and we know if we do anything for, 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 for trade that one. That one of our weapon. So make every parent understand them and make sure say we defend them to the last. I bet you now if we keep up with the way things that they go, the Republic will get no other choice than we let we go. And I, I wish I would know all those people the way they be. try for day on the fence, the struggle will do all the negative things they will return and see they will do the next one. How how shameful your day for the day we don't get our independence. They celebrate. I want to see how they will come to come and celebrate with me. It will be very shameful to see them. I know some of them anyway. I want to see that day where we dance the go boy. I'll see you dance past my corner. I'll ask you to dance with me. No, you be denied saying you don't go walk. Because I know plenty of people are like, you walk, you don't go walk. But I want to tell you, I want to say, this struggle must succeed. Whether I'm like, like a public like you. When God does this, I'll see his papa. And we must win this struggle. Um, I think we don't come to the end of the show. Yeah, we, we are rounding up. So uh, stay tuned. Uh, we have Dr. Liz coming up with Eye on Education. She's the head of our educational board, and she'll be coming up to give more clarity, to answer more of our more pressing questions about the kind of educational system that we would build for our country. So stay tuned. Keep watching SCBC for, for, for updates on the struggle. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, enjoy one day. Really change me, huh? Huh? Can you talk now? All the
Eu cu el cam doar și unul viticlea. Ia. Nu, 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 nu,